Hi, I'm Matt Sidimer, Assistant to the Director of Operations at Wine Library, and OCU Minura and I are world champions. Yo! Super Bowl Champions 2007! <laughs> Even though we're in the 08, feeling really great. I am Adriel Caldellas. Art director here at the Wine Lab Brizzy, and I am celebrating with my man Don P some of these uh, New York Giant victory because I am too a Patriots hater, but I am even more of a Giants lover. So congrats, we're all champions, kind of, <laughs> but uh, the Giants and I are certainly champions. So go blue. Hi, I'm Randy Morton from the Wine Library Order Department, and I am a New York Giant champion, just like you and everybody else out there supporting the Giants. Cheers. Hi, I'm Jason Nelson. I'm a junior manager at the Wine Library, and today I am a New York Giant champion. Oh yeah, baby! Hey everybody, it's Chris Mott, and today I am a champion, along with my world champion, New York Giants. And what we have today, graciously provided by our host, Gary Vanderchuk, is a bottle of 1999 Dom P. Today, I drink from the cup of victory one last time. Link that up, Vaynerchuk! Hello, everybody! Welcome to Wine Library TV! I am your host, Gary Vaynerchuk, and I am not... I am not a world champion. As a matter of fact, this is a gracious... This is episode 400. Usually we get so happy and excited about these double zero, the double goose egg, as I like to call it, episodes, but, you know, yesterday's game... It just was really difficult for me. I mean, I'm not hating on all the giant fans around here, and obviously I hate the Patriots. You know, as a matter of fact, it's kind of ironic. I mean, to really, really understand, you know, how I feel about this, we need to kind of go back to, what is it, May 21st of this year, Mott? Take a look at this. I'm a fan of all, of all people, of all wines, of all things, except the Patriots and the Giants. Ah, uh, yes, May. You know, Mott? That was tough, what we just saw yesterday. But anyway, here we are at wonderful Scotty's, which is right across the street from the Wine Lib, a place where a lot of us hang out. And um, today I decided for episode 400 to take it back to the roots. You know, take it back to my Soviet uh, heritage, the Russian blood. So what we're doing today is we're going to do a little bit of a vodka tasting because I really think that I need to drown my sorrows. And uh, I think this is obviously an absolutely tremendous way to do that. But before I do, I've got a lot of shout outs today for episode 400. You know, it's a, this is a really, really kind of special episode. First and foremost, huge shout out to Grant Kessman, who is a dear friend from LA who uh, got engaged. I'm so happy for you guys. Big shout out to you guys. And Michael Kivas, part of that crew as well. A little tote seer action for him. Happy birthday to him. And also, I want to give a very special shout out to Nancy N. Anne hey Head, who's just an absolutely wonderful human being and I think absolutely deserves a shout out. Also a little, uh, little shop talk about the Mott t-shirt. We've heard back from you. We're going to be giving you some other options in the next couple of, uh, in the next couple of days. And finally, Mott. Link it up, baby. We're going to be uh, doing a dinner at the Boston Wine Expo. So if you want to hang out with us after the Boston Wine Expo, where you can bring your own bottle, it's $125 a head, prefix, big little dinner, small little room, only going to be able to take about 20 Vaniacs. If you have interest, in, follow the link below. Link that up, Mott, and away we go. Let's get right into today's episode, episode 400 of the Thunder Show. And we're starting with the uh, box uh, Bison Grass Vodka from uh, Zubero. Uh, $19 for this uh, wonderful 750 liter bottle. Um, and uh, this, where is this from? Imported. Mott, you got any ideas? Not Not sure. Natural. Natural. From grass. Uh, po potato vodka from Poland. Very nice. Um, bison grass vodka. Let's see what's going on here. Um, I don't know. This is, you know, I feel like I'm in bar talk. You know, it's a good time to, uh, I'm in a very chill mood for episode 400, actually. Um, just a uh, really, really, first and foremost, first shot 
of the day goes to you, the Vaniacs, first and foremost, because uh, obviously without you guys, there is no show. If you weren't watching, trust me, I wouldn't be putting it out. I mean, I only need like two or three fans, no mod. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be lying in that fact. But in a in a minute after this shot, as I get warmed up, we are definitely going to talk about uh, the spread the thunder contest for episode 400, which is really the theme of episode 400. Um, you know, obviously somber news yesterday for for me and most football fans, mod and others, and all the other people you saw. Obviously, a very good mood. Um, but uh, I'm gonna down down this shot again. Bison, grass, vodka, you know, vodkas are, are, are coming on strong. I think we all know the invasion. There's a lot of quality coming out of these areas. So let's see what's going on here. Interesting. A little harsh, not as smooth as some of the vodkas I've had in the past. Clean, fruity, like like gummy, like it, smells, it tastes like a gummy bear, like a yellow gummy bear kind of component on the palate of this vodka. Not bad at all. Makes my chest nice and warm. Um, not bad, nothing crazy. Doesn't totally, totally blow me away. Um, but it, it's something that I would have. And, you know, I think it might be a little too fruity for a lot of people. Um, but all in all, not a bad job by Zabroya. Good little start to the show. The next vodka is insane. O2 Vodka. Sparkling, a sparkling vodka, thirty-two dollars, oh two hundred years. This is from London, UK, and bottled in England. And that's pretty darn cool. Come on, can you get that? Can you get the bubs? Who needs a uh, Who needs a uh, champagne? A bit, yeah. You get a little bit of the bubbles. Uh, interesting stuff. Oh two. I don't even know what to say. Episode four hundred. Giants win the Super Bowl. Insanity. Um, really looking forward to this weekend at Boston. Hope to see a lot of you. The Mott t-shirt thing we talked about. A lot of great news running around, you know, with engagements and babies and everything. Got together with some high school friends yesterday. Some awesome stuff. I mean, really excited about the, the future of the Thunder Show. I've got so many categories to, to attack uh, for you guys. Uh, really looking forward to doing more shows on Cajor. A great idea to do Malbecs from all over the world came the other day. Lots of topics we still have not still have not attacked, so really excited about it. Anyway, as I continue to drown my sorrows from today's day, O2 Sparkling Vodka, $32 a bottle, pretty pricey stuff. Let's see what this is going on. Clean your nose. Wild. Actually, like, uh, cheap sparkling champagne into, uh, into vodka. Very clean, though. Very clean, actually. A pretty premium vodka, I gotta give them a lot of credit. Um, the, the carbonation is a very awkward style that you don't expect. I mean, really, it's kind of like those beers and, and vodka shots that people do sometimes. Uh, not bad at all, I actually like the flavor, very very smoothness um, factor on the finish that I'm enjoying. I'm, again, Russian Standard is something that I, that I think is really standing out lately. Grey Goose phenomenon is very much on the same level as Yellow Tails. Some insanity going on out there. Anyway, spread the thunder contest. I mean, are you bringing the thunder? Are you spreading the thunder? Uh, that is the real question. Let me tell you about what the spread the thunder contest is. So Mott, link it up right over here. There's a little link over here of the spread the thunder contest. We'll be drawing all the winners. A grand prize winner, five runner-ups, and 25 sub winners on February 19th, but you have only this week to spread the thunder, and here's how it rolls. We want you to spread the thunder. Spread the gospel of the Thunder Show. Tell people about it. We want to bring more people. Remember, it's you with a little bit of me. So we've got to change the wine world. How do we do that? We need a lot more of you. So this is what we're going to do. I'm going to have a little post over here, a little video explaining exactly what the spreading the thunder is, and you below in the comments are going to explain how you spread the thunder. Now listen, here are the rules. You will get two entries into the bucket where we pull names from if you do a blog post or a video blog on your blog post because that's how we roll. You know, kind of maybe summing up what you think of the Thunder Show, if you recommend it, if you hate it, whatever your thoughts are. Have we jumped a shark now with episode 400 and vodka? Whatever you want to roll, we will do that. Also, there's a lot of different ways. A lot of people emailed me over the weekend knowing this was coming. How can I spread the thunder? One guy can't email me back and says, I don't have a blog, but I have a 45, that 45,000 person email list. I'm like, that's, that sounds like spreading the thunder to me. There's a lot of different ways you can do it. I mean, you can make a blog post. Of course, you can do the mass email thing. Heck, you can call all your friends, whatever you want. You've got to explain it in the text box, in the comment section of how you spread the thunder. Given the way you've spread the thunder, the mass amount of it, how strong is your thunderbolt? Actually, it's a lightning bolt. How strong is it? 
That's how many entries we're gonna put into the bucket. We're gonna decide. The monster, me, the rest of the Vaniac, Vayner Nation inside the building. So if you do something crazy and outlandish, like get on national TV, maybe tomorrow at the Giants uh, parade, you have a huge sign that says the Thunder Show, winelibrarytv.com. Whatever it is, that will get you more entries. And now the prizes. First grand prize is sick. The winner will be flown or driven, or driven, driven to Wine Library and will be my co-host. The second maniac to win a contest to be my co-host. Also though, more so than the last one, this winner will also get to share dinner with me afterwards in New York City and put up in a hotel if you're coming from out of town. So that is going to be awesome. I'm gonna bring something very special. Co-host of the Thunder Show and then dinner with me. It's going to be sick. Five runner-ups are gonna win a why a Apple TV? So you can start watching the Thunder Show from your HD TVs all over the country. So five runner-ups are going to be picked out and are going to win Apple TVs. One of the great ways to spread the thunder, as a matter of fact, I just thought of. How about leaving a comment in iTunes? That's a nice little way. And remember, to be eligible at all, you've got to sign up for the feed burner up top, the email list. If you're not there, you're not even eligible. So. At the top right corner of the website, you'll see sign up for the email list. Depending on your RSS feed, you've got to do that. So, and finally, 25 of you are going to win a swag pack. Maybe like a new wristband that nobody else can get, some t shirts, all sorts of other stuff. So, one grand prize winner, five subs, and 25 swag packs. All if your name gets drawn on February 19th in the Spread the Thunder contest. Now, a lot of you have already spread the thunder. A lot of you emailed and said, I've already done a whole lot. I've told everybody I know. I get it, just put it in there. But if you press the envelope, if you do something wild, maybe you know you can recommend me on your LinkedIn. I'm over here. Facebook, message all your friends. Whatever you're up to, spreading the thunder will get you prizes. And you know what? It's a nice way. A lot, somebody wrote back and said, you know, it's great marketing and all that, but it's a great way for me to say thank you for what you do, and I appreciate that. And let's get into the final one. And this one's awesome. You know, I need a little herb on the Thunder Show. Herbs Aromatic Dill Leaf Infused Vodka. And this one's $22. Um, it's, uh, it's kind of interesting. It says, it's different from regular vodka. How is that? Let it sit in your glass for 45 seconds. It will open up like a fine wine. Vod, look at that. You got to zoom in on that. That's kind of interesting. You see it or no? Yep. That's pretty wild. I like that. Look at fine wine. I get it. All right. So wait a minute. Does that mean on this dill we can give this vodka a sniffy sniff? Oh my God! This is dill all day. This is wild stuff, actually. You know, we talk about dill a lot in the wines that we find on Thunder Show, but this is clearly infused hardcore action. You drink the vodka? You like the vodka, huh? Like right from the bottle? You're hardcore? You gotta put it in the uh, freezer. Yeah, it's gotta be cold. Let's give this a whirl. Really, I mean, it smells exactly like dill. God, my Russian uncles right now are just cheering. This is gonna be the only episode they watch. <laughs> Actually, by far my favorite of the bunch. But you've gotta like dill because it's clearly dill all up in your grill piece, totally attacking your palate but very clean, very smooth. I think what really induced a lot of people to adore Grey Goose, that component is coming through on this. This is actually pretty darn good. If you like the dill herbal aspect of vodka, um, excuse me, of life, of your palate, you really want to seek this out. Of the bunch, definitely my favorite, followed by the O2. The bison grass was just too sweet for me, Mott. I don't know, just a wacky little show today. You know, the Giants Patriots Super Bowl completely took me for a loop. Question of the day, what is your favorite vodka? What, do you, what is your favorite vodka? Not what you're drinking now, of all time. It's about it, you know, I, I really wanted to get sentimental and sappy for you on episode 400. Obviously we did that in episode 396 when I talk about out loud that I might leave the show. I, I just can't stop thanking you guys every day for all the love, the amount of emails I get, the amount of people that tell me I make their lunch hour or when they get home or after a long day special. You'll never know how much that means to me. I will continue to do this show. I know today was a little off the beaten path. We went a little vodka on you. Um, but we will be back tomorrow with some serious wine shows. And uh, I'm excited. I've got some really solid efforts for you guys. I'm really going to bring the thunder hardcore for you this year. We're getting very close to our two-year anniversary. I will never, ever, 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 ever be able to explain to you what you guys mean to me. Answer the question day lurkers come out and most importantly join the spread the thunder contest because it means a lot do you know why because you with a little bit of me we're changing the wine world whether they like it 
or not. And the vodka world. You know, I just couldn't go episode 400 and not have wine. My, can we, you know, and you know, now I'm doing a nice huge rinse because I like inducing emails. You waste so much wine, you're the biggest jerk ever. Anyway, wild episode, right? We go from never having a single cut in Wine Library TV history, except like the one time the tape broke, to like chopping the crap out of today's episode. I thought for episode 400, you know, I did the vodka thing, but I was like, I just feel empty inside. I've gotta give you one last shot of some vino action, so that's what I'm gonna do. Instead of doing something like I didn't know, I decided to recommend something that completely blew my pants off the other day. Um, this is the uh, Mischief and Mayhem 2005 Pinot Noir Red, Bur Red Burgundy, just a, a Bourgogne entry level Pinot Noir, but I think 05 is such a special vintage, not only in Bordeaux, but in Burgundy, that this wine completely rocked my socks off. I'm excited to see if this bottle um, is also um, bringing the thunder. I love this, Ma, this is sniffy sniff time. Very similar to the last bottle I had, which was just loaded with gorgeous baby strawberries, little hints of like fart bomb, and just radishes, which I love. A uh, red radish component. That is just gorgeous on the nose. A little dirt bomb also. Let's give it a whirl. You know, the other day I talked about my palate going towards a little bit of the new world. This kind of brought me back over the weekend. Dry, beautiful black tea component on the flavor profile. Extremely old world in its attack. Vegetal, green tea, light raspberries and strawberries are subtle, but very focused. A very rich and mouthful explosion, Pinot Noir. This to me is entry level Pinot. This to me is the $20 dropping on a Pinot Noir that you can be happy about. The one that you can bring to a roasted hen and say, roasted hen, delicious, but this vino kicks your butt. An absolutely complex monster of a wine. I give Eminem a huge kudos to be able to produce a wine like this at 20 bones. If you wanna know what good Pinot Noir was like, before Sideways, find a bottle of this. You, with a little bit of me. Oh, I should rate it, right? Why not? We hate ratings, we love ratings, we hate ratings. This to me is easily a 90 plus point wine. With, you know, as I'm yapping now, I just can't get over how much of a black tea, raspberry, and like bell pepper component flavor is still on the finish. One of the longest finishes on an under $25 Pinot Noir I've had in a long time. Old world love. Old fashioned love is good too. It's a little bit less freaky than it is now. You, with a little bit of me, 400 more, you wanna go for it? We're changing the wine world.